So I want to start this off by saying you do not have to spend this much on a vest or a jacket. You don't. You can go to like the Goodwill or yard sale, thrift store, whatever, um, and just get something cheap. Slap shit on it. Paint things on there. Sew shit on it. DIY the hell out of it. And honestly, the, the good thing about patches and pens and buttons and shit like that is they can be transferred. If you ever need a different size, if you're just completely over your, your vest or your jacket, you can just, you know, pry that shit off and, and move it. My husband moves around his patches all the time and I'm like, that shit's down and it's fucking staying. I've had this jacket for quite a while. I bought it um, from Killstar. Obviously, I bought it like way before I started to lose weight because it's a 4X and I currently am like a 1 or a 2X. But it's a damn jacket and it also like makes it so I can wear things underneath of it comfortably, especially because I don't know if you know this, leather jackets and vegan leather jackets, they're super fucking hot when it's hot outside or warm outside. But when it's cold, it's fucking cold. They do not keep you warm at all. This I put on there myself um was not f this came on there uh very cute but i also kind of want to add to it i'm not sure the inside does have the silk lining so it's a little bit harder to get through um i did end up cutting a piece of the silk a little bit so that i could get underneath of there and i don't want i just don't want to shred it you know i do have a kitty patch up there kitty was one of the like a band that definitely defined me as as a little girl they're one of the first you know female metal bands i had ever seen and uh yeah i mean of course they deserve a spot because i still fucking listen to them. there's a there's a lot of typo negative on here guys we're not i'm not and I'm, I'm not gonna lie. i mean there's some and and there's a lot there's a lot of typo negative on here i got a like a pack of uh, pens and I kind of just sporadically put them on the jacket this I got in a Disney villains like advent calendar it was like one of the things this came with a no effects patch uh, not this one I think it was this one my son gave me this and Bride of Frankenstein is my favorite movie I know Frankenstein and Bride of Frankenstein are not the same movies but I like it anyway. Also, I think I got that at Spirit Halloween not that long ago. We got some some more typo negative because of course that says Rotting Christ. I'm sure there's somebody watching this that can't read it. It says Rotting Christ. They're one of my favorite bands as well. Don't mind the strings, par for the course. Uh, there's some more pens that came with that pack of pens that I got. The, this one did too, this little bat. I think there's another one. Oh yeah, it's right here. And I think I got those on Amazon. Of course, we've got more typo negative Peter Steele. Peter Steele, Peter Steele. And Lydia Dietz. And Misfits, which is one of my favorite bands. Behemoth. Um, Alien Sex Fiend. Also love them. Sisters of Mercy. I just want to say, I just want to say, just real quick, that I am so happy that Trick or Treat is finally having its moment. Because when I said that I was a fan of it years ago, everybody looked at me like, why? Like, clear up until a couple of years ago, everybody was like, why do you like that movie so much? And now it's finally, finally having its moment. That's why it's that way with everything, though. Doesn't it feel like it's that way with everything? Like, every everything has its moment where everybody hates it, and then all of a sudden it's okay to like it, and then, you know, give it a couple of years and it'll go back to, to okay, that's too much. I, I don't like it no more. Get it out of my face. We got some more patches down here. Oh my gosh, I forgot about my pedal steel. Pedal steel, pedal steel. Also, can we talk about the fact that when I made my video, like painting my lamp, and I said that I should have done it in green and black, and everybody was like, Ew! Ugh! Ugh! Green's the worst color ever! I love typo negative. I will physically fight over typo negative and the fact that so many of you didn't catch didn't catch why i should have done green disappointments all of you did i show that one too i think i did this is so disorganized this this was much smoother in my head than i was going right did i show my jack too 
and then I have another. I didn't, I wasn't much a fan of this pen, but um, I don't think, I, the more that I look at it, the more that I'm just like, it's fine. It's, it's fine for now. Most of these patches I got from um, just like independent sellers on eBay. The girl who made like my Cure patch and my Suzy patch and my Zymox patch, a couple of my other ones, I think she made the Kitty patch too. She follows me on Instagram because she likes to watch um, like just the uh, growth of, of my jacket. And I still, I have a whole fucking box of patches and pens and shit that I have to put on the back. And the thing with me is I will wait. I will wait until the weather is cold and then just absolutely kill my fingers trying to get this bitch sewed all the way. Cause I really want to finish it. I really want to finish it before the weather breaks, but I've been playing a lot of Cult of the Lamb and just, you know, being stressy and depressy and it really hurts. It hurts. It doesn't matter if it's real leather. It doesn't matter if it's vegan leather. It doesn't matter if it's a fucking pleather. It, the shit hurts to sew real fast. It catches up to you. But anyways, this is my uh, battle jacket thus far. Boy.